Sometimes gifts of kindness go horribly wrong. And there was one year where obviously I work in Belize, right? And that's where my focus is. But one year I had some friends who were working in the northern Yucatan. And this is way up, not too terribly far away from Cancun. So if you guys have ever been to Cancun, it, it, the project was actually not that far from Cancun. But actually, once you get outside the boundaries of, of the town of Cancun, it's jungle, man. So there's really, there's a really big change there. It's like Cancun and then jungle with small villages. It, there really is that kind of difference. So just because they were close to Cancun, it didn't mean that they had air conditioning, you know? And I, I went up there for, for about a week or so to visit my friends and work with them to kind of work on their project and just, just uh, try something a little different that sounded fun. And I decided, coming from Belize, that I would bring a bottle of rum as a gift, right? Because Belize has good rum. I like it, man. I am a one-barrel fan. So I brought a bottle of one-barrel rum in my backpack, and those of us who work in the jungle for long periods of time, or if you've ever done any sort of backpacking or trekking, you know that any any extra weight in your backpack is a big deal. So it was a nice thing that I, I kind of shoved in a, a bottle of rum into my backpack and I gave it to these guys. So it took quite a while. I remember it was an entire day's journey, at least, to get out of Belize, um, really out of where we were working, onto the main roads of Belize, onward to the border between Belize and Mexico and take a bus. It was something like a 10 hour bus ride from, from Belize to, um, to, to sort of Cancun. And so, and so this is the end of a very long day. It's kind of evening. At Cancun, the project picked me up in a minibus. You'll find that in Central America, the, the car of choice, the vehicle of choice, is a minibus, basically like a like a soccer mom's uh, minivan. That's what it is. But you call them minibuses there. It's a minivan. It's an older minivan. And so they opened the uh, they opened the back. I threw in. I, I put my backpack gently. I should not say throw in. I put my backpack gently inside. Close They close the door. Drive me out to the site. Really bumpy road, you know, out to the site. Uh, but I'm like, oh sweet, my my bottle of rum is fine get to the site where, where the where the crew's staying they open i can see this in slow motion they open the back of the minivan and i'm like no and this is in slow mo back of the minivan pops up and my backpack rolls out becomes airborne for a minute smacks right onto the back bumper and you can hear the glass shattering. It's like, shoo, smash, blam. And then my backpack lands on the ground and it's already wet. It was such a colossal shatter that like my backpack's already wet. And this, when you're working for months in the jungle, this is a disaster because what happened was all my clean clothes and clean clothes are such a commodity uh, doing this kind of work. I, I Just getting your clothes cl clean can be an adventure in itself. I had my newly cleaned clothes that are now drenched in rum. And I'm like, oh. And everyone else knew what had just happened and they were all kind of silent too. And they were like, wow, man. I'm like, I know. Because in a jungle situation, once your stuff gets wet, it don't dry. It stays various levels of wet. So I, we didn't really have any good soap to, to wash clothes. I kind of tried my best. I kind of dunked them in a five gallon bucket and I kind of got water on them and I kind of rinsed them out, which just made them more wet. Uh, the smell of rum was everywhere on everything I owned. So for the next couple of days, literally people would walk by me and be like, 
hey. And I'm like, I would have to explain. I know, I know. Yes, I smell like rum. My, all my clothes are drenched in rum. Then a day came where the sun came out. And if you, if you work in the jungle, you know that it's rare that you get this combo of like sun out, some open space that's not all jungly, and where it's vaguely almost kind of dry out. Usually it's just so much, usually it's just so, so humid that it doesn't matter. It's sun, it's shade, who cares? It's humid all the time. Nothing ever dries. But I was able to like, I remember I put out a, a couple of my clothes on a barbed wire fence. And I'm like, oh my God, I think, I think, I think these are going to dry. And they did. And they still totally smelled like rum. But you know what I learned that day? Dry rum smells better than wet rum. <laughs>